What's up, everybody? It's JT Magnum and Siggy, and we are doing the fourth quarter. It's the show where we go through four topics, four quarters, and we do it all in a 10-minute timer, and we do it as fast as we can. All right, let's get right into it. Let's start this timer right now. So first topic, out-of-control fans. Matt Schaub getting booed when he got injured, when he hurt his ankle. Uh, the fans were actually cheering. I'm sorry, not booed, but they were cheering when he got when he got injured. What do you think about that, Siggy? Uh, it's it's something that you know you always you always hear about stuff like this every now and then. When Vic got hurt last year, I think the same thing happened in Philadelphia. There's been a lot of incidents like this. This one, I mean, it's just it's just not classy. I mean. Certainly, if you want a, a change in your quarterback, and all that, you let the team know by booing and stuff like that. Don't cheer an injury, though. I mean, the guy didn't do anything to deserve that. And, you know, I mean, luckily it wasn't that bad of a of a play. But, yeah, that's just – it's classless. Yeah, I, I, I say the same thing. Uh, another similar thing happened in San Francisco. Kalai Campbell got hurt. I don't think the fans realized that there was an injury because they were doing the wave <laughs> during, <laughs> during the injury. I don't think they realized it, and when they realized it, they stopped. But another thing, like, you, you, you know, when you're, you shouldn't be celebrating injuries, you know. People get excited yeah, exactly. for things like that, but regardless of whose team is on the, is on the field or on the court or and wherever you, whatever sport you're playing, you should cheer when they're taken off and they seem all right and they, you know, they wave and they seem like, you know, they're giving the thumbs up or whatever. But that's when you cheer or whatever. But you shouldn't be cheering for the injury. And, and, and that's just class, classless fans. And it's not the majority. It's like a minority of fans. But it's just pointless and stupid to do it. But uh, yeah, for the I next agree. topic, we're going to talk about the NFL rules. Are they hurting the players? Um, there's been some low hits now that you're seeing a lot more low hits a lot more knee injuries ankle injuries broken legs and uh are they due to the penalties that people that that the refs are calling now due to the new nfl rules of no hitting you know above the belt you know basically helmet to helmet oh it's it's a it's clear i mean the, everybody's so afraid of even even regular hits everybody's starting to get penalized for yeah you saw it the other day somebody hit somebody in the head with their shoulder and it wasn't their intent. They were going for the tackle, and the guy lowered his head into it, and he got penalized. I mean, it's it's becoming ridiculous the the safety thing, especially when it comes to the uh, helmet to helmet. The only way the only way they can tackle today is going to be at the legs, and you're going to see Randall Cobb. He's out now. You mm -hmm. saw it happen to um, what's his name, Dustin Keller, in preseason. I mean, th yep. this is the new NFL. Take him out on the legs, chop him. Yeah, I, I've seen countless, countless countless hits below the legs below below the knees and or at the knees and it's like and and, and players are scared to, number one you're getting fined a huge amount of money for these for these uh helmet to helmet hits which by the way it's it's really not that bad and i don't think it's as bad as everybody thinks it is but i mean it's football these guys are getting paid a lot of money to do it they they know how to do it right a lot of them are still leading with the shoulder but they're still getting called for it so now you're, you're forced to hit low like that. And I saw what happened to Randall Cobb. And the minute I saw it happen, I go, this is why they need to get rid of those stupid rules. Because, I mean, if you're going to have the rule, fine. But don't make it be a judgment call where the ref, you know, sees it or whatever. Or do it like college where they review it and they see that it wasn't a helmet to helmet. And they don't, you know, they don't penalize and they, they rescind the flag. Or do something where they can at least look at it and say, okay, it wasn't a helmet to helmet. He did leave with the shoulder. We're taking the flag back. That way people can still try to at least hit and know that if they're hitting cleanly with their shoulder, they don't have to get a penalty for it and they don't have to go for the legs like they've been doing. Yeah, it's probably got to go to that. I agree with that because, yeah, it's getting ridiculous. I mean, it, I mean, I don't even know how to explain <laughs> the anger of football but this but that's the way it is now i mean with yeah. this whole you know the concussion case and all that it's just this is the this is the end of the new nfl yep. and it's sad because players are leaving early now the players are, are yeah. you know they're getting hurt badly like yeah. legs broken their careers are ending because of knees yeah. and it's 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 sad but uh it is. it is what it is it's the nfl now the no fun league <laughs> no fun league <laughs> all right topic number three we have the past versus future game this week it's manning versus luck who do you think is going to come out to be uh the victor in this one 
Ooh, it's gonna be paid Manning after what Ursay said. Oh man, that was a jab at him. I don't care what he's, you know, he tried to backtrack it uh, later on the next day. But he pretty much told everybody in the media that he only has one ring and he's disappointed about it, that he should have two or three like other organizations like the Patriots, Giants, and Ravens. And that was, uh, and Steelers, a direct shot at Peyton Manning and his uh, Super Bowl woes, I guess as you said, or playoff woes. But I think Manning's going to have a monster game. I think that 28 spread might be for the Colts. (laughs) Yeah, the... uh... The media is eating it up. They're, lit. they're 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 putting all the stats out there of how Andrew Luck has done better than Peyton Manning in his first years with, you know, with the Colts compared to Andrew Luck's first years with the Colts, and they're putting all the stats out there. They are just riling up Manning, and Manning is doing a good job of saying nothing. He's basically yep. keeping his cool. He's keeping quiet. He goes, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna feel till game day. I don't know how everything's going to be to, you know, my emotions, what they're going to be. But, you know, deep down inside, he wants to kill the Colts. Not be, oh, not his sure. team, not his team in general, like his teammates, his former teammates, because I'm sure he has nothing mm-hmm. but love for Reggie Wayne and a lot of the guys that he played with there. The, the thing he wants to do is just shove it in the owner's face. Like, you know, oh, yeah. he wants to shove it in that organization's face. Like, you cut me. I'm on a better team now. I'm doing much better now, and I'm going to win the Super Bowl with this team, and I'm going to do it, you know, right co- coming through you to do it. So I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to the game, and and I know Andrew Luck's stats are a little bit better than Peyton Manning's, but they're, they are stats, but Andrew Luck still has not won a Super Bowl. He's still a rookie. He made it to the playoffs last year, yes, but he inherited Manning's old team. So, that, I mean, it wasn't like they completely sucked to begin with. So, um, well, I mean, I think you saw firsthand what that team was without Manny. I mean, that's why they were yeah. able to get the number one pick, you know, a horrendous yeah. team. Yeah. So, I mean, I give credit to Luck. Um, obviously, it was a decision that uh, it was one of those perfect storms. I mean, you can't not pick Andrew Luck whenever he's projected to be a once in a generation type of player like Peyton Manning. So it was a it was a no brainer for them to pick him, especially coming off. You don't know what's going to happen with Manning's next. So I can't blame them for picking Andrew Luck. But now, whether, you know, you did what, like, Aaron Rodgers and groom him under Manning, you know, if Manning wasn't going to be fine, then at least make that decision there. Hey, you're too injured. Here you go. But, I mean, who knows? The Colts could have been, if that was a 10-6 and six team last year with Luck, and it was, if it was still Manning, that could have easily been a 14-2 and two team. And who knows? You know what I mean? I mean yeah. Yeah, definitely. Just, but I'm going to still go with Manning in this one. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Although I think oh, it's yeah. going to be a lot closer because Denver's defense is horrible. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, topic number four, the return of the ACC. Number five, Florida State taking on number three, Clemson. we got two ACC powerhouses going at it with two young, gifted quarterbacks, especially the one from FSU. Oh, yeah. That's your boy. Famous James. Famous James, <laughs> man. I'm telling you, man, this guy is a, this guy's a stud. Everybody's gonna know who he is this game. Watch, watch out for him. Of course, you know Clemson's quarterback is good also, but man, Jameis has just been tearing it up. Flashes of Manziel last year. I mean, it's gonna be a real good game. I'm just glad the ACC is back. This is what they envisioned whenever they had Florida State come over, and then you know a few years later Miami come over. Miami's back on, to, you know, on top of their game. It looks like, you know, after a decade it seems mm-hmm. of just as brutal teams. But and then not only that, you got some other up and coming teams in the ACC. So ACC football's back. I mean, that's what they need to complement their basketball because ACC basketball has always been good, and ACC football was always supposed to be good. It's just you know they had you know, some scandals here and there, especially down south of Florida. But <laughs> but I'm glad I'm excited for this game. It's going to be one of the games of the years to watch for sure. A three and five matchup. You can't ask for anything better. Oh yeah, this is it's the, the only, one game only- you have to watch on Saturday. It's it's the only sport too where you where the regular season is just as important as like a playoff. You know what I mean? So that's what makes college football great, in my opinion. Oh, definitely. And who you got? Oh, man, I, I'm gonna have to go with my famous James. I'm gonna go Florida State. Yeah, Florida I'm gonna go State. Florida State too. I like their defense. And in, in games yeah. like this, that's when I prefer defense. I know they have good offensive, uh, really good off. Both are really good offensive teams, but. I, I I like defense, and Florida State always seems to produce very good defensive players, and they're 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 NFL players. They're like Alabama. 
Florida State, yeah. Miami, those kind of teams. I mean, I know a lot of people talk about the SEC, you know, but, you know, these these powerhouse schools produce big-time talent on the NFL level, and Florida State's always had great defenders. So I'm definitely going to pull Florida Before, State. Man, remember whenever it was, when they were in the Big East, Florida State and Miami, they were, they were the kings of college football. It wasn't yeah. no Alabama. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't LSU. It was Florida State, Miami that tore it up every year. I, I, I wish it comes back to that. Yep. Can't wait for it to. And that's it. Timer's up. There we go. So, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guys, leave topics in the comment section for us, please. We're trying to get, uh, you know, the best uh, we can do for, um, you know, comments and stuff like that. We, we like it if you just give us some topics that you want to talk about. Um, football and, and basketball related, preferably. If you have some baseball topics, we'll try and do it because I know Siggy knows a little bit more about baseball than I do, so I'll let him talk more. <laughs> I don't really – I follow baseball. I just don't really follow baseball. Like, I'm just not into it as I used to be. And if you have any other topics you want to talk about, just feel free to leave them in the com excuse me, comment section. And uh, don't forget to tweet at us, at Siggy V and at Optimus Magnum on Twitter. And we will do our best to uh, – you can even tweet topics to us if you'd like – on there and we'll take them into consideration and we might use them on the next show. So that's it. Got anything else you want to add, Siggy? Um, let's talk a little bit about basketball. Derek Rose had a really good game tonight, preseason. <laughs> he did? I didn't know. I didn't see it yet. I've been, I've been busy all day, so <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a chance to even look at sports. I'll probably do it now. There but, will be that we will be talking about basketball on the next show though because you, there is already word coming out of Carmelo that he's opting out so that's a definitely a topic we need to talk about. Yeah, he'll be on the Lakers. Nah, <laughs> I, I foresee I foresee him on the Lakers. <laughs> At least we'll I see, would like I would Hollywood. like to see him on the Lakers. <laughs> All right, all right, guys. Fourth quarter, we out. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.